amps can be higher than what is required. So that requires 3.5 amps. You could get one that has 6 amps. You could get a power adapter that has 7 amps. You could get one that has 20 amps. And that will still work with that computer. The thing you don't want to be the wrong number is the volts. You can't put a higher voltage power adapter on a computer that's not rated for it. You will fry it. So if you're trying to hook a 25 volt adapter up to a laptop that's supposed to take an 18 volt adapter, bad move, you probably will fry the motherboard. So the volt has to stay the same. If a computer needs 18.5 volts, then you need to get an AC adapter that puts out 18.5 volts. You don't want to mess with the volts. But you can go higher on the amps. Okay, now where were we? We were trying to see if the adapter that's being used with this compact computer has enough power and current to power the machine and charge the battery. Now if you remember looking at the power adapter in an earlier shot, you could see that the voltage is 19 volts and that the amps are at 4.74. Now this computer only requires 3.5 amps, so 4.74 is higher than 3.5. This adapter does have the capability of powering this machine. Now I know what I said about volts, and this power adapter says it puts out 19 volts and the computer only takes 18.5, but that's close enough that I'm going to let it slide, and that shouldn't have a problem when it's 0.5 volt. That you're going to find out with most adapters, 18.5 or 19 are about the same. Now, let's go over the situation where if your DC jack on the laptop is bad and is not making a connection to the motherboard, then it might look like the battery is bad as well because the battery is now not holding a charge or even taking a charge. Now this has happened a lot in my shop with my customers where their DC jack goes bad. They think their battery has gone bad because it's not taking a charge anymore. They go out and buy a new battery and then they decide to bring their computer in because of the battery is still not charging even with the new battery. That's because the DC jack is bad. You're going to probably run into this a lot where um, the battery's not charging because the DC jack is bad, and until you fix that, the battery's never going to charge. So how do you test if your DC jack is bad? It's simple. Plug in the AC adapter, take the battery out of the computer. If the computer doesn't power on, then you know you have a problem with the DC jack. If the computer does power on, you can throw the battery back in and see if it charges. If the battery's not charging at this point, it's pretty likely it's a bad battery. Now it can also be, but it's pretty unlikely that the charging mechanism inside the computer, like on the motherboard, is bad. Now I've done a lot of laptop repairs and I've maybe seen that one time, so I think that's a very rare situation. So it's pretty safe to say right now that the battery is bad. Now let's go over some other reasons why a battery won't be charging. It could possibly be that the contacts between the battery and the motherboard are not making a connection. Maybe something uh, spilled in there or there's some, some film covering the contacts and they're not making a clean connection. One thing you can do is take a toothbrush and just scrub in between the fins of the battery there and also scrub down the fins where the motherboard connection is. Make sure to use a dry toothbrush, preferably one that has not touched human teeth. Now I've also seen instances where there's just some some kind of flukiness that's happening with the computer where if you just take the battery out and you put it back in it might start charging. Maybe uh, there was a malfunction on the motherboard or, or some circuit and it wasn't actually taking a charge. Try simple things before you just determine that the battery is bad. You know, reboot the computer, power the computer down, power it back on, take the battery out, put it back in once or twice, and see what happens. Just doing that may fix the problem.